So Bernie Sanders attacked Trump on CNN after uh, Bernie made a democratic socialism speech and, you know, Trump's responding and he's, he has nothing on Bernie except Venezuela. You like Venezuela, even though you don't, but you like Venezuela. Oh. Um... And he calls him crazy. It's that. It's Venezuela crazy. Venezuela crazy, and that's all he's got, and totally ineffectual, and it doesn't land because Bernie gives really solid responses, and here's what Trump has after Bernie responds. <laughs> so, um, Bernie went on CNN afterwards, and credit to Anderson Cooper for having Bernie on in this context because Bernie really used it as the bully pulpit. And here's what he said. When Anderson Cooper threw the softball down the center of the plate of Trump's stupid criticism. Yeah, it, it's, I mean, you are, you are leaning into democratic socialism. Now, obviously, everybody's known you're a democratic socialist, but, uh, I mean, you are clearly trying to sort of explain what your view of what that means to, uh, you know, an American population and many people who see, hear the socialism part, right. maybe not the democratic part. And you know President Trump ultimately will be yell yelling Venezuela at you as much as possible. Yeah, well, that's exactly the point. And the other point that I made today is that, in fact, people like Donald Trump are also socialists, except they are corporate socialists. They are prepared and do provide hundreds of billions of dollars every single year in subsidies and tax breaks to large corporations and the wealthy. Anderson, you will remember very well the Wall Street bailout. Now, Wall Street is the epitome of unfettered capitalism. That's what they believe, except when their greed and illegal behavior nearly destroyed the economy. They went begging to the Congress. They were big time socialists. And they said, we need federal help. Give us 700 billion from the Treasury and trillions of dollars in low interest loans from the Federal Reserve. You got the fossil fuel industry today which is literally destroying the planet. And they get billions of dollars in subsidies and tax breaks. You have Amazon, owned by the wealthiest person in this country, Jeff Bezos, made $11 billion last year. That's what Amazon made in profits. They didn't pay a nickel in federal income taxes. So in fact, you got Donald Trump himself, as part of his housing endeavors, received tens and tens of millions of dollars in subsidies and tax breaks. So, so you do have socialism in this country, except as Martin Luther King reminded us, it's socialism for the very rich and unfettered individualism for the poor. I love that framing because it's true. The second the subprime mortgage crisis and the Great Recession hit, what did the big banks say? What did the financial institutions say? What did Wall Street say? Did they say, oh, please, government, we can't accept a bailout because we believe in capitalism. We don't believe in socialism. We would never take a government handout. Is that what they said? <laughs> they went hat in hand begging. Gimme, 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 money, 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 please. Uh, Big Daddy Federal Government, please save us. Please. So what happened? I thought that you guys had, a, you know, a principled disagreement with accepting money from the government because that's socialism and that's bad and that's wrong and it creates a culture of dependence. But no, second, your asses were in trouble. Yeah, you went begging for it. It's almost like you believe in it, but you only believe in it when it's convenient for you. And as Bernie points out, because Martin Luther King pointed it out, you believe in rugged, laissez-faire individualism and capitalism for the average Joe and Jane, but for yourself, you believe in letting all that government money flow, baby. Gimme, 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 more, more, more. So, um, the framing is correct, and the framing makes sense. And the, the point is, if the government money was good enough to bail out these uh, big financial institutions in Wall Street, well, why isn't the government money good enough to, I don't know, give people health care? Give people college? Somehow, it, uh, come on, it, it would be a terrible idea to give money so fucking kids don't die of cancer and go bankrupt. That's a bad idea because of reasons and stuffing things. 
but oh, write a blank check to assholes who crashed the economy out of their greed? And oh, that's totally cool, bro. No problem with doing that. No systemic issues or anything like that. I don't object to that on principle. That's, uh, that's a good idea. Just give the assholes who, uh, out of recklessness and greed, destroy the economy. Give them whatever they want. No strings attached. No regulations. No goals that have to be met. No leverage rules. I love that framing. Because it's true. It's absolutely true. And so they can't argue against, you know, using government money to help regular people, working people. They can't argue against it because they already bought into the premise that... Pfft, Government money's totally fine, as long as it helps the people that we want it to help. Which is Wall Street, and Big Pharma, and the for-profit health insurance companies, and the military-industrial complex, and so on and so forth. So, he's doing well, man. Bernie's strategy has been spot-on recently. So, you know, you definitely can't say he's not doing everything he can to win this election. Because he really is. And uh, I think his campaign manager is awesome, and I think the direction he's been going in recently is great. The only slight disagreement that I had, which I brought up on the secular talking smack that I did the other day, is um, I, if I was Bernie, I just never would have opened that door in the first place by saying, oh, I'm a democratic socialist, because he's not. He's a social democrat. At least if you believe what he says when he goes policy for policy, that's social democracy, not democratic socialism. But since he opened that door, okay, whatever. So you open the door and you kind of redefined it, I guess. But um, he's repping it and he's arguing for it. And this is something the left hasn't done. Certainly elected politicians on the left haven't done in a long time. 